A summer slam is almost here and fans want to know about the last minute news stories and rumors concerning 2023's biggest party of the summer. Join us now as we look at the most shocking rumors regarding SummerSlam 2023. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 1. SummerSlam expected to shatter records Expect SummerSlam to shatter records for the WWE in several areas, including the box office. Dave Meltzer recently discussed this on the Wrestling Observer Radio saying, As far as the idea of this giant crowd, I mean, this will probably be legitimately the biggest gross in the United States for a non-WrestleMania show in the history of pro wrestling in the United States since the beginning of time, which is an incredible accomplishment. It's also possible that SummerSlam will set a new record for streaming on Peacock as Peacock's subscription base continues to grow. The WWE's popularity continues to set new records ranging from TV ratings, such as SmackDown earning the number one spot on broadcast and cable TV in the all-important 18-49 demo, PLE streaming numbers, or even just sellouts on tickets. Number 2. Damian Priest Cash In now, there's plenty of anticipation for SummerSlam for many reasons, including some huge matches, the potential for surprise appearances and or returns, and also because two briefcases that could instantly change the world title landscape. Yes, Money in the Bank has never seemed as prominent as it does right now, with the men's and women's briefcases posing a threat to anyone. Currently, the focus seems to be Damian Priest cashing in on the World Heavyweight Champion and Io Sky cashing in on the WWE Women's Champion, which could be Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, or the current champion Asuka, depending on the results of Saturday's Triple Threat match. However, what if the WWE throws a massive curveball and Priest takes a shot at Roman Reigns, or Io tries to cash in on the winner of the Rhea Ripley vs Raquel Rodriguez match, assuming the match happens as rumoured? This could make for an even more exciting night, although in Roman's case it's always seemed like a fool's bet to gamble on him dropping the belt. Maybe Damien Priest's best bet is after the Seth Rollins vs Finn Balor match. Now this is pure speculation on our part, but what if Finn Balor wins the World Heavyweight Championship and this creates dissension within the Judgment Day as Damien Priest comes out to cash in? It would make for an awesome storyline. Number 3. Rumored Turns with Roman Reigns and Jey Uso battling for control of the bloodline, some fans and pundits are speculating that one or more family members could change sides, leading to a shocking finish for the match. Or even a post-match segment that leaves fans with their jaws hanging on the floor. There's been some speculation that Rikishi might join in their storyline as he's teased on social media. However, there have been no concrete plans of Rikishi interfering in the bloodline storyline. Now there is some talk that Drew McIntyre could turn heel, possibly beginning at SummerSlam. Drew's quest to dethrone Intercontinental Champion Gunther could fizzle out, either leading to a change in attitude or in a case where someone inadvertently costs him the belt, perhaps through misplaced interference to counter Imperium. What about shocking returns? As always, fans are speculating about potential returns at SummerSlam and the two top superstars who could return, and if they do, expect them to make quite the impact. As number 4, the return of Bray Wyatt. The WWE showcase of Skulls during its recent TV shows has Bray Wyatt fans certain that Bray is finally returning back to WWE. Wyatt, who hasn't been on TV in months, has been out due to an undisclosed medical condition. Fans believe this Skulls could be a hint of Wyatt's return, much like the White Rabbit campaign that preceded Wyatt's 2022 return at Extreme Rules. If Wyatt does return at SummerSlam, there are several theories as to what could happen. It's possible that WWE could have Wyatt show up and make a spectacle as he did at 2022's Extreme Rules. However, we believe the time for stunts and such are long over and Wyatt needs to make a statement by challenging or even taking out a superstar. Here are two targets for the former Fiend, the first being Roman Reigns. One odd way to throw things out of control with Roman vs Jay is to have Bray Wyatt show up attacking Reigns not necessarily out of payback for Reigns' 2020 interference at SummerSlam, but because Bray Wyatt is supposed to be the ultimate wild card. Sportskeeda recently suggested the Bloodline storyline may be winding down and that Wyatt will be Roman's next challenger. We think that's a possibility, but that Wyatt's return could lead to the Bloodline forming an uneasy truce as they fight with Wyatt and a new group under his control. The second is Cody Rhodes. Another possibility is that Cody Rhodes defeats Brock Lesnar only for Bray to show up and take the American Nightmare out. 
While conventional wisdom has been wrong before, it's believed Cody's hunt for the undisputed championship won't resume until close to WrestleMania 40. A feud with Bray could give the grandson of a plumber an engaging feud that fills his dance card for a few months. Number 5. Wyatt's Latest Disciple Another reason for Wyatt's return is talk that SmackDown superstar Shotzi has gone bonkers following Damage Control's attack on her and subsequent involuntary haircut. Since then, Shotzi has shaved her head, a real-life token of showing a love for her sister who is battling cancer, and embarked on a terror campaign against Bayley. This includes Shotzi leaving a creep-tastic note in Bailey's belongings and her delivering a Wyatt-esque message via the Titantron on SmackDown. Some fans have called her the female Bray Wyatt, an apt description if the WWE decides to have a takeover Alex Bliss's part as Bray's resident demon doll. If Shotzi does join Wyatt, let's hope the WWE manages to keep her tank around. Number 6. The Return of Randall Orton there's more rumors that Randy Orton will return at SummerSlam, but fans have heard these rumors so many times that we almost feel like we should mention them. We covered all the potential return scenarios before, chief among them being Orton coming back and taking out Roman Reigns and all the Usos for shelving him in May of 2023. The other is that he returns to start a feud with Matt Riddle. At this point, we're bringing it up, but categorizing it as something we've heard so many times before that like The Rock vs Roman Reigns, we'll believe it when we see it. Number 7. Record for Randy If Randy does show up at SummerSlam, it will also mark a huge milestone for the 14-time world champion. Wrestling World CC tweeted, If Randy Orton appears at SummerSlam, it could be a record-breaking appearance. The Viper is currently tied with The Undertaker for the most SummerSlam appearances, 16 for those keeping track. But there are also rumors that even if Randy does turn up, the record could still be intact. More on that later. Number 8. Surprise Appearance John Cena's appearance at Money in the Bank seemed to catch everyone by surprise, as was the WWE's intention, a situation which had fans anticipating who could show up at SummerSlam. Let's look at two names that have come up, one whose presence wouldn't be as shocking as Cena's, and another who is a long shot. With Hollywood's actors and writers on strike, this would seem like the open door for appearances by wrestlers turned actors. Number 9. The Grayson Waller Effect a Grayson Waller may play a significant part in SummerSlam, as the Australian superstar has been talking a lot of trash following his confrontation with John Cena and Money in the Bank. Let's look at how Waller's callout could lead to some major surprise appearances and even a return. As number 10, if you smell what The Rock is cooking. Now, could The Rock show up at SummerSlam? That's a question fans have been asking ever since Grayson Waller began trash talking The Rock on social media, as well as offering to make the People's Champion relevant by hosting him on the Grayson Waller effect. As discussed in our Sunday news video, the WWE is keeping things quiet and creative, which seems to have intensified speculation about The Rock. An appearance by The Rock would certainly raise eyebrows, no pun intended, especially after a year of speculation that The Great One would wrestle Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39. However, there is a substantial difference between The Rock making a one-off appearance for a verbal joust against Waller and months of training The Rock would have to devote to a match with Roman Reigns. Number 11. The Undertaker Returns if The Rock isn't able to make SummerSlam, WWE fans could still see a wrestling icon confront Grayson Waller and shut him down. While details are sketchy, The Undertaker is rumored to be in Detroit during SummerSlam, a situation which conceivably lead to him shutting Waller up. Whilst this seems like a long shot, there's talk of an active competitor pretending to teach Waller a lesson in humility. Now, if The Undertaker does show up and Randy Orton does show up, then the SummerSlam appearances are still at a tie. However, if one or the other doesn't show up, there could be a record that could be broken. And number 12, RKO out of nowhere. There's speculation that if Randy Orton does return, it'll be to take Grayson Waller out. While a surprise by The Rock or The Undertaker might be good, neither superstar is going to wrestle Waller, which means a return by Randy could set up an immediate program which would benefit Orton and the WWE Universe more than a short term angle. What do you guys think of these rumors though? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more. Wrestling content.